Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about explicit weight. So explicit weight is a type of weight which basically pauses the execution to find a certain element. Now you can define what weight interval you want in your statement. So basically that is the first thing you will define what interval you want. You can define it in seconds, minutes, hours. You have a lot of different options. Okay. Now what is polling frequency? So polling frequency is uh, the amount of time in which your line of code is going to re-attempt for finding that particular element. So how it works is, let's say I want to find an element A, okay, and that element visibility is not there. So that time we use weights. Now in terms of explicit weight, we will define weight interval. So what will happen is for this much amount of time, it will keep trying to look for that particular element. So this is the maximum time it is going to wait for it. Okay. And in how much time it is going to relook for that element that is going to be 500 milliseconds. Okay. So the reason uh, it is called dynamic weight is let's say we are trying to find some particular element in 10 seconds, but we were able to find it within two seconds. Then it is going to skip the remaining eight seconds, which increases the efficiency of your execution time. Okay. Now what uh, similar functionality is provided by implicit weight. Okay and that is applicable to all the web elements but if there is a case in which you need to apply a particular logic to only one web element now it would be unnecessary to use an implicit weight in that case explicit weight comes in very handy so it will only be applicable on the web element where it is specified okay so this was the theory portion let's take a look at uh, it in practical so i am using eclipse id let me quickly create a class here explicit weight and I have actually a basic set of code for which I have already created a set of code so I'm going to just give a quick explanation on the flow and then uh, I'm going to explain how to use explicit weight so basically this website is there it's a mock automation mock demo website so source demo.com here uh, they have created specifically for this purpose. So what we are going to uh, take the scenario in is we are going to launch this particular URL and then we are going to log in here uh, with the credentials what they have given and then we'll click on login and here if you see the hamburger menu we are going to click on this hamburger menu and then we are to going to click on log out. So what is happening uh, in the end-to-end -end automation of this particular scenario is the moment you click on this hamburger menu it takes a little bit of time to load the slider and if you do not give a weight then the script is going to fail so let me show you that so basically this is the basic code in which uh, these details are written let me just quickly show you that so uh, basic stuff browser launch launch URL maximize and then input login credentials click on login and click on hamburger menu and then I put a thread dot sleep here so if I remove this weight the manual weight what I have mentioned here I'll show you it will not work so we'll just wait it to quick kick off okay it has kicked off as you can see the website is launched and then we came on this page and we were trying to click the logout but that did not happen because I have removed the weight okay now let's see if I put the weight back in it is going to log out okay so I'll show you that so here this is a static weight and this is going to work fine we'll quickly see that so see the logout will get clicked and it will log out so it, it is working fine now we do not want to use the static weight we want to use the explicit weight so let me just uh, copy the set of code here and uh, Let me minimize this. Okay. So now instead of the static weight, we are going to use explicit weight. Now there's a basic statement which we can use. So how does it go is web driver weight And we will create an object. So I'll create obj is equal to new 
web driver wait now uh, web driver wait sorry uh, this is in caps i believe once again yeah and here you pass in the driver so first thing is going to be driver comma and then you have to mention the duration so i'll you'll put duration and you'll click on dot and then you'll get all the different options which we were talking about so <coughs> you can put in days hours milliseconds and all so i'll select seconds and whatever amount of seconds you want so let's say we want 10 seconds i'll mention 10 seconds and i'll put a semicolon here and i'll just uh, import these objects so if you scroll above this we'll see web driver wait now this is the first line for explicit weight now what we need to do is obj this is the object dot until command will use and how much time we will write expected conditions dot now there are different options which you could select like alert is present it is clickable or not by locator visible frame to be visible so you see n number of different options are here okay so maybe we can use visibility of all uh, visibility of so see here you have elements and element option since we are dealing with element we'll select this okay now the logout slider which i was talking about uh, this is the this is the link so i am going to use this by dot id and by this property i'll be able to find this link okay so what happens here is let me put one more I have to put one more close brackets okay now we are good so only these two lines are required okay now what we what is happening here is we are using web driver wait from open org uh, qa dot selenium and then we are creating an object we are mentioning driver and then we are giving the duration now whatever amount of time we want we can mention here now we are saying in this object until this particular condition is met you wait for this much maximum amount of time and it is going to re-attempt this every 500 seconds. So if you see here, wait interval 10 seconds and polling frequency is 500 milliseconds. So the polling frequencies cannot be defined here. It is by default 500 milliseconds. Okay. Now uh, I'll put this. So what will happen is it is going to wait for this. And since it is a dynamic wait, the moment it is going to find that it is going to skip the remaining time. Okay. Now let me... So let me run this and we'll see if it is working fine or not. So see our URL is launched, it, it has clicked on logged out and it is working perfectly fine. Now this is usual, this is very helpful when we just want to put the wait time for a particular element or few elements, Not we do not want it to be applied to all the elements. So here it is only applied to this element, it will not affect any other element. So that is what explicit weight is I'm going to put all these details and even the uh, basic command what we have used so I'll just use this and I'll put the syntax in the description section as well in case you find this content useful uh, do like subscribe and uh, share share my video and do leave a comment as well thank you very much have a great day bye bye